After a crushing win in the South Carolina GOP primary, Newt Gingrich hit the Sunday talk circuit to talk up his revived chances of being his party's presidential nominee. The former Speaker of the House, considered a long shot in South Carolina just seven days ago, cruised to an easy win over Mitt Romney by 12 percentage points. The race now appears a contest between two, the establishment candidate in Romney and the insurgent candidate in Gingrich. A big part of the former speaker's win in this conservative state was his support among Christian and evangelical Christian voters. At St Paul's Episcopal Church in Columbia, the capital of South Carolina and one of the more moderate centres in the state, Gingrich's win was the topic of the day. Rusty Applegate was one of the thousands who voted for Gingrich. Well, I like his experience. I like his forcefulness, his power. I think he's somebody we need a powerful president and uh, need somebody forceful. And I think he's got a lot of experience um, um, in foreign affairs and other financial affairs that make me a little bit more comfortable than the other candidates. He says Gingrich's well-publicized infidelities were a non-factor. It didn't really make that much difference to me. But it did make a difference for Sue Netzloff. I believe he has a past that would, would really, um, I would have difficulty trusting in him. And I know that people make mistakes, but he has made an awful lot of mistakes. She voted for Mitt Romney and said the difference between the two candidates came down to the debates. She said Gingrich's forceful attacks on the media for raising his infidelities contrasted with Romney's timid responses about releasing his tax records. One of his biggest problems was that he did not unveil his taxes. And people are not trusting of that kind of thing. For Romney, who at one point was leading Gingrich by 23 points in the polls, his collapse was spectacular. Parishioners at Grace Chapel in West Columbia gave their explanation for why Romney's support dissolved. I was not satisfied that overall he had the best conservative interest. I'm looking primarily for somebody that uh, can beat Obama and I feel like he's the strongest candidate. A little bit concerned about Romney, some of his uh, uh, ideas and I believe at times some of the things he said kind of contradicted other things. There was a similar sentiment here at Columbia Evangelical Church where parishioners said that Gingrich did a better job of relating to the more conservative evangelical voters in South Carolina. There's no institution hated by South Carolinians more than the liberal media. They represent everything wrong with the United States. So Gingrich took a shot at them and uh, it's that simple. The next primary is in Florida on January 31st. According to a poll by Real Clear Politics, Romney leads Gingrich by 18 points, a smaller margin than the early lead he held in South Carolina. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Neil Hickey in Columbia, South Carolina.